So, to fix this digital piano, what we have to do is we have to unscrew all the screws underneath the unit. And usually with all digital pianos, the screws are underneath here. Screw them all out, there could be quite a few of them, maybe 10 or 15 of them. And then, once we've got that loose, the top of the digital piano, we can lift it up. And usually digital pianos, they always lift up at an angle like this way, because most of the controls are underneath here, and the wiring are underneath here as well. So it makes sense that it eases off that way. Okay. Now, we've got all our hammer keys here, and depending on the size of your keyboards, there's 88. And with your digital piano, we're going to have some type of cabling here. Um, usually it's split into two halves, so one half, which will be the lower end of the keyboard down from the middle C, will be going through to this uh, mixed cable here. And then we've got another half as well coming in from this point here. So first place to check will be, are those two different uh, cables, are they kind of in right into the, into the fixing? Um, and they can easily kind of pop out there, so just check that those are solid. After that, if we're still having difficulties with uh, some of the different keys in the different parts of the keyboard, it's always an option to actually swap those two different cables around, put this higher cable into the actual higher port, and swap them around and see, do you still have the same problems in the different keys? And if you don't have any of those problems, then the problem probably is, is one of the cables. So, with this one side of these cables, they're coming into these ports on this motherboard here but they also have to be connected into a, a, a board underneath these hammer keys here. So because those boards are right underneath the hammer keys, when you're playing the piano, it's often a case that they come loose. So we have to actually unscrew all the different screws wherever those different keys, that whole key unit is actually laden down with. And we want to lift that whole unit up from here, excuse me. So, once it's unscrewed, let's just lift this unit up. And so you can see here, we've got two different cables coming in here. One of those cables for the lower half of the keyboard is coming in and it's got another different connection into a really similar port in underneath these different keys here. So that's one of the places that we can check to see is that loose. And if it's loose, obviously, we need to just get our fingers in there and actually push it back in again. And again, up over here as well, we've got the top half of the keyboard. There's the port for that as well. Again, that could have come loose because of all the banging on the keys up on the upper side of it. So we want to push that back in there and make sure that that's not loose. And once all of those are put back in place, and we make sure that nothing is loose. Uh, it's just a case of plugging everything back in together, putting the actual top unit back on and screwing everything back in together and testing it. And so that's the first stage in fixing your digital piano.